stuff two. out here. Will they be able to do it? We'll find out. Let's play pickleball. Sun out. And Tejas and Staxrude in the first round played Blaine Hovenier and Gabe Joseph, and we're down a game and 9-5 and dug out of that. They could have been zero, gone zero, one. several days ago. A lovely fun fact, Dave. I didn't even realize that was a score line in game two. Unbelievable. And just such a buttery, beautiful ATP from Fed. Silky smooth, zero, zero, and that's two. the man with no weaknesses around the po post, a thing of beauty. Point. I mean, Augie is just smoking the ball. He is. Uh, I talked about that hand speed, and he's got some short stroke power on that lefty forehand as well. Almost no One, zero, take two. back and plenty of pop to finish the point. Point. So when you get lefty righty, lefty righty, how does that change things? Oh, that's a lot of forehand power in the middle. So two, zero, uh, often two. when those counter attacks come from your opponents, they come to the middle. And those forehands are weapons for everyone. Yeah. Great read Sign from up. Pablo Tejas. He's one of the best at jumping the corner. Beautiful Ernie. Yeah, he didn't react to the shot. He two, knew two, what one, was one. coming and anticipated it, like you said, Dave. Point. Can two forehands in the middle be a problem? Uh, it, it can be a problem from a communication standpoint. One, so two, one. Uh, there's not just necessarily a dominant side Point. when both forehands are in the middle. So uh, it's a nice luxury, but you have to make sure you're comfortable with your partner and communicate two, two, in one. a variety of situations. Point. Net aided as that sat up for the two-handed backhand of Fed Staxrude, but expect Augie Gu to look for offense Three, two, on the one. forehand side when that ball sits up. Second serve. And uh, the disparity of playing together, which is big with the righty-lefty, 140 matches played for Staxrude and Tejas. Three, two, two. Three <laughs> on the other side for Gu and Jaume martinez Vic. Yeah, that's a great first volley to keep it out of the reach of Federico Staxer who was lurking in the middle of the court. Two, three, one. It's a nice graphic of what I just mentioned. Flawless so far. Yeah. Often when you hit a cross-court attack like Aguga did, your partner pays for it, but Jaume Martinez Vic's hands were ready that time. Nice combination for those two. Three, three, one. Oh my, Fed snuck in there and got him out of jail and then Pablo robbed the store again, went running in there and they went right back to jail. He, he, he made a move, he certainly made a move. Didn't work out for him after some really nice uh, offensive pressure from Jaume. That's just so good Second, by Fed, fill in the middle. That's that righty-lefty that we're talking about. Timeout. So nice to Four, three, have two. that. As uh, Pablo Teas can just hold his ground and know his buddy. Didn't miss a question. Oh my, yeah, I mean, that's come on. big brains Four, on three, that man. Two. Jaume, 
Just a little flip of the wrist, getting on Pablo Tejas in a hurry. Jaume Martinez Vic with some very nice offense and really smooth stuff from all four players from the back of the court and the mid court. They are getting to the kitchen line at a very high clip. Just deep from Jaume there. Three, five, one. The LA to tell Pablo, get up there and get it. I just did something amazing, and then he got tagged. Yeah, he got tagged right in the chest. And another phenomenal offensive play from Jaume Martinez. Vic, backhand Three, out five, of the two. air, and now the forehand off the bounce. Yeah, you talked about Jaume, and he's from Mallorca, and if that sounds like something you might have heard in a racket or paddle sport, it sure does. That's... Uh, where Rafa is from, and he is a hitting Five, partner three, one, in Rafa in tennis back in the day, so the tennis is no joke for Jaume. Yeah, just turn. to make sure everyone's on the same page, that's Rafa Nadal. Yes, <laughs> oh, my yes. goodness. Yes, we love Rafa Hewitt on our tour, <laughs> but uh, uh, that is uh, indeed one of the greatest players to ever set on a tennis court. Boy, nice Point whip there, there from Augie. Yeah, that buggy whip right from uh, kind of the, the no, left hip. The An shot, incredible no. amount of topspin. Six, three, two. Tried it two points in a row. This time Federico stacks rude with the hands of gold. Very ready for that offense from Augie Gah. Nice play from Fed. Three, six, one. Wow. Second serve. Augie took the bait and Fed destroyed a ball at Jaume. Oh, oh, that's exactly what Fed wanted. Tough break that Pablo Tejas wasn't able to come up Three, with six, that last two. ball, but he baited him nicely. Point. Pablo's yelling because the other team let a ball that was two feet in go. Yeah, Jaume look over, <laughs> looked Four, six, over two. like, man, no, I thought that was going out. No, sir. That one does indeed go back. Augie Gubb played his college tennis six, four, one, down one. in Tucson, Arizona Wildcat. That time Pablo was like, get that one-handed flick. <laughs> the heck on out of here, Jaume. You, you got me once, and not going to get me twice. Really nice punch Six, four, from two. the midsection from Pablo Tejas. And this is a fiery team. Talk about the emotion of Stax Root and uh, Tejas. Absolutely. They really four, six, ride one. the highs. Some really quality hands and uh, no panic Four, from six, either two. one of those players in the firefight. <laughs> All right. One for Jaume, one for Pablo. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, and they start, uh, you know, Fed and Pablo Five, start six, going two. with that Spanish speaking and they start building their momentum and, and they really uh, swing by that momentum a lot and they will occasionally get in a lull but if things are working well from them they can pile Six, five, points one. together in a hurry they are definitely bringing up Six, five, the two. vocals here. Oh. 
point. First real grindy dink point there, Adam. Yeah, and a nice, a nice spot there from Agiga going to the middle of the court. Kind of mixing up out wide in middle, force the air. No. Come on. Jaume two, Pablo one now. Yeah, yeah, man, the, the hands are, are really quality from Jaume Martinez, Vic. I mean, he's a singles player. Eight, yeah, five, right, two. he's got the whole package. Yeah. Time out receiver, nine, off five, the two. Tape. Nice neutral. He wants PPA, nine, Buenos five, Aires, and I am all for that. Yeah, I mean, I'm on board too. I would, I'd love South America. I'd happily go down there. And some nice put away power from Pablo Tellez. Point. Just enough. I like that from Pablo Tellez. He took a bit off of that drive to create more spin. And that was an awkward Six, nine, first one. volley for Jaume Martinez Vic. Yeah, fully in the air by Xiaome, and he punches a ball right from his chest with plenty of pace. Six, nine, two. Point. Same kind of miss there. Yeah, one, I believe one had two hands in that last one, one hand, but Seven, either nine, way, two. from someone so smooth on the court, two awkward swings. Side out. And an uh, awkward swing there of his own for Teas, so they inch a little closer. Big chance to get to 10 here, though, and put a little scoreboard pressure. Point, I mean, game gets point. tagged off the tape, but that was going to be destroyed down on the ground there, and uh, we are at a game point. Nogga oh, had a great view of it. Again, Second nice put away power from Pablo. Point. And I know he didn't hit his best one, but oh, good God, uses Ten his lower two. body on these ground strokes from the back of the court as well as anybody. Point and game. that miss dink will do it. So look where we're at. When the world sleeps, greatness rises. And while others dream of the next level, we chase it, challenging every limit, turning obstacles into stepping stones. Because the next level isn't just handed to you, it's earned. Go next level with 6-0 Pickleball. Showman, uh, he's got it all. And if they can get this match, whether it's game two or game three, this whole one trick pony of just a singles player zero, will zero, be one. gone. That's just great hand speed. That's a Second clear cut server. attack for Federico Staxrud, but Augie got there. And I used to say the same thing about the boys on the far end, who are clearly doubles players now. I don't say it at all anymore, but similar situation for Xiaomi. No, no, no! Point. And the ball just comes off a little bit differently on Pablo Tejas's paddle. He has a lot of power. Yeah. Jaume, what a beautiful two-e combo platter. Man, that was nice. It was very nice, and that has been the difference for me. The boys on the Zero, near one, end, one. a little quicker to pull the trigger and find offense. Second serve. Zero, one, two. 
Start out. He was not in a phenomenal no. position, meaning Pablo Tellez with his first volley, and he somehow cracked it, one zero, forcing one. the air from Jaume Martinez. Vic, nice job, Pablo. Point. The voice you hear calling the score is Don Stanley with Jim Price and Anisha Smith one. supporting him. Second serve. I'm warning you now. If someone goes in the kitchen, that dude right. right there will wake you up. I love to call it the Don Stanley two, alarm two, clock, two. so we'll see if we get a footfall or not. Oh, oh my, Point. just the perfect height and pace off the tape. Yeah, fortunate, and of course, Federico has all the shots, defense and offense, but when they are looking for an offensive spark, it often comes from Pablo Reyes, and he has an extra pep in his step to start game two. Wow, Point. another one off the tape. Jaume, he, he just can't help himself. He wants to talk to somebody. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he got two let cords. He was like, you guys don't want to, you don't want to talk Four a little bit? Two. Let's chirp. You have two that would usually chirp back. Wow, three net cords go in the negative way for Ga and Martinez Vic. I think they're going to play one more before taking a timeout. from Augie Guff from a low position. Pablo a little late getting that lefty paw Zero into the middle. One. But a tremendous start here for Staxrud and Tejas. Point. Yeah, I'm guessing that Federico thought Pablo yes. might be involved in that point, but that is not a one first five, volley one. you're going to see often from Federico. He just, he just almost swats at that lefty forehand in the middle, and it doesn't matter if he is fooled or if he's sitting on the backhand side. He gets back Three, five, to where one. he needs to so quickly, Augie Gut. Second serve. That was probably, in his previous uh, match, that was probably the only shot that had some inconsistencies in it was that forehand Three, five, drop. Two. So we'll monitor that moving forward. Oh, Jaume with a very aggressive poach, and Pablo and Fed can't really say anything about it because they got a few net cords of their own earlier. That's exactly right. <laughs> but Jaume still threw up the Three, sorry, five, not sorry. Boy, T serve was a beauty. Good. Point. I mean, the dude's not tall. What's going on, Adam? Those yeah. are great. Yeah, wh wh what's up with that reach as that ball is contacted well into the kitchen? So nice job of taking Pablo's time away from Jaume Martinez Vic. Wow, Jaume. Let's go. We're tied at five, five in a row. And in the beginning parts of that point, what a Delicate yes. touch from Augie Gu on the short hop reset. Time out receivers, 5-5-2. Five, five, yes, I am a defensive player, so I love when you call that stuff out, Adam. That was silky smooth right Somebody in his Time corner. Five, five, so two. here we go, nodded at five.
couple chances there. Yeah, that was that swat lefty forehand I was talking about, but couldn't hit it as clean as he wanted to. A couple shots later, Pablo Tejas does hit a clean forehand. Second Boy, John may got away with something there. Yeah, he did. Federico blistered that first ball. Gah got a paddle on it, and Federico overcooked him that last two-handed backhand. Start out. I mean, yeah, when, when Augie Gug gets in that crouch position, whether it's the back of the court or up at the kitchen line, you know some pace is coming, and it just doesn't matter. The quality of the shot five, is so five, good. Sorry. Point. What a read by Jaume to jump in there that quick. Yeah, and to hook it cross court. And then Pablo, welcome to the tattoo parlor. Six, Sorry five, about one. <laughs> Uh, this time, no tag is a somewhat similar situation, yeah. and Pablo pulls the paddle back, lets it sail long. Yep. Six, five, two. Shot from Pablo Tejas, whipping through the zone, finding some offense, and then tucking in that shoulder at the last second Five, to six, let the one. ball sail. Oh, just missed Second the punch. Job man, let him know just why. Yeah, nobody was home. If no. that ball drops, no, sh no chance for anybody. Pablo almost came up with a highlight reel shot, but uh. Really nice jump at the corner of the Five, kitchen six, from Jaume Martinez, Vic. could be the hands of his opponent. Federico Stackshirt, I think, broke form a little bit to try to get some extra pace because he knows Six, he five, needs one. it. Point. Yikes, a couple of routine mistakes here for Fed, and they cannot let that happen anymore. They Seven, are four five, points one. from being sent to the bronze medal match. Yeah, that's that's tough to go cross court from that low position from Augie Ga. Pablo Tejas making him pay with a nice counter attack. from Pablo Tejas really has a lot of advantages to it, but occasionally Eight, we'll get five, some two. air sprinkled in. That's what we saw there. Side out. So a big swing goes deep there, but uh, Staxrud and Tejas have five, got eight, one. to go right now.
Who's going to be the one? It was Tejas, and Jaume got Second enough turn. of it. Yeah, but I don't think you can fault Tejas too much. Oh. He was, he got his partner a forehand in the middle, and that's kind of what they're two. looking for, Dave. So that's a tough break. Oh, that's a nice two-handed oh, backhand from Augie Guy. And just a kind of a general statement here. The soft stuff from all four players, very clean for the most part throughout this match. So much spin and shallow, too, man. Can't attack. There's that swat in the middle and a couple little short Seven fist punch from Augie Ga as he knows this is a massive moment for him and his. When the world sleeps, Greatness rises, training rigorously and pushing boundaries. Ah! The next level isn't just hand, it's earned. Go next level, the 6 0 pitfall. And as Vic Not in their one. first tournament together are looking to take it all the way to the gold medal match. Go! Second serve. I, I, I like the aggression. I mean, this is such a big moment for them, but. Augie Gunn coming two. out of the timeout, not holding back, even though he couldn't come up with that shot. Oh, he didn't come up with the next one either, and that was a very tight high third there. Yes, on the forehand side before the backhand Five, nine, air, one. that was floating in a big way. side, both wings, forehand and backhand. Really tough for Five Federico Stackstrew to find offense against Augie Gunn right now. Side out. Oh no, and a miss. Uh -oh. Oh. oh dear. That is going to be a warning. Time. That ball is sent well up into the bleachers and above it from Pablo, and that just cannot happen. Yeah, that in the dictionary of ball abuse, that is a picture Ten right there as he crushed that sound. So that is only a warning here, but Animal. you just can't do that. And I'm glad, hopefully, that was well above the crowd so no fan caught that. And by caught it, I mean got hit with it. Yeah, I think that was building for a while. Pablo just could not keep his emotion in any longer. Not Pablo. Right. One. Back we go. Unbelievable point from Tejas after the incident. <laughs> I mean, he just stays cool, calm, and collected and just cracks four firefight counters up at the kitchen line. Nice recovery from him. Wow, and the third. So, Augie, you're going to get every return now, sir, because that was not pretty again. So, can they get back in it? Even, even when he floats a soft shot, talk about how clean the soft stuff was at the kitchen. The hands bail him out, Dave. What a luxury. Yeah, I don't know about anything Five, like nine, that. Two. I don't either. Jaume ready for the pull down the line. That's impressive. And Pablo can go to a variety of spots, and he's so tough to read with how much paddle head Not speed he has one. through the zone. So phenomenal read from Jaume Martinez, Vic. Can they get a third on the ground? to the ATP, point, match, and point. we are at match point. 
10 5 1. And that goes deep, and first-time partners, Augie Gah and Jaume Martinez Vic are taking it all the way to the finals in a very entertaining and well-played match by those two, Adam Stone. I got two very happy guys here with me. Guys, people said you were not the team that was supposed to be here. How did you prove them wrong here tonight? You're headed to the finals. Uh, yeah, thanks. We just really stuck to our game plan, tried to stay really solid, uh, not make too many mistakes, and uh, also stay aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> Dame, you've been called a singles specialist in the past. How did you prove that wrong here today? Uh, well, I, I've been trying to like uh, focus a lot on staying away from my tennis roots. Uh, until now, I've been always uh, pulling from my uh, improvisation, but lately I've been like watching some film and seeing a little bit what I can do in terms of playing patterns and doubles, and it's working perfect. A lot of aspiring pros have asked, how do I break through? What advice do you have for them? I would say just keep grinding, um, find different aspects of your game that you might need to work on. Uh, I have like some like unorthodox training methods, so maybe just find something that works for you, honestly, and uh, yeah, just keep going. All right, guys, I think you might want to share some of those unorthodox training sessions on uh, social media or YouTube in the future, because there are a lot of people who want to know how to make this run a similar one for them. Guys, congratulations. We'll watch you can play on Sunday. Dave.